Hi, I'm Pro Football Weekly Executive Editor Dan Arkish with an off-season preview of the St. Louis Rams. The Rams made quite a leap in their second season under head coach Steve Spagnolo. With quarterback Sam Bradford living up to his first round billing, setting league rookie records for completions and pass attempts while taking every snap and displaying the poise of a seasoned veteran, St. Louis finished 7-9 and made a legitimate run at an NFC West title after managing only one win the previous season. But a weak primetime effort in their season-ending loss to Seattle, particularly on offense, left a very sour taste. The out-of-character hiring of former Broncos head coach Josh McDaniels as the team's new offensive coordinator to replace Pat Shermer, who left to become the Browns' new head coach, seems to have created a mostly positive buzz in St. Louis. McDaniels couldn't have, have a more impressive track record as a coordinator, having directed a New England offense that cranked out a league record 589 points back in 2007. But that won't mean much if the Rams fail to surround Bradford with more big play weapons this offseason. In addition to finding a deep threat who can consistently stretch the field, the Rams could really use a high octane change of pace backup to help share the load with workhorse running back Steven Jackson, who still has lots of gas left in the tank but isn't getting any younger. The changing of the guards on the offensive line wouldn't hurt either, as the Rams figured to be hard pressed to get by again with Jacob Bell and Adam Goldberg, who offer more finesse than force, as starters in an interior line that came up short more often than not in short yardage situations. The Rams' defense improved significantly in 2010, going from 31st to 12th in points allowed. But a playmaking weak side linebacker, a run stuffing defensive tackle who could provide more beef up the middle, and more depth at cornerback and safety would come in really handy. As far as veteran personnel is concerned, the team must make key decisions on wide receiver Mark Clayton, a free agent who immediately developed a strong chemistry with fellow Oklahoma product Bradford before suffering a season ending knee injury in week five and free safety O.J. Otagwe, who was just released after the team opted to pay, not to pay him an $8 million roster bonus, but he says he still wouldn't mind trying to reach a new deal with the Rams. With Bradford leading the way, the Rams figure to be right in the thick of things in the NFC West again this season. But without more firepower, the sledding could be ram tough. This is Dan Arkish of Pro Football Weekly. For more information on every team in the NFL, go to ProFootballWeekly.com and also look at for us on Twitter.